Welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. This video is for the bases. We're going to talk a little bit about the left hand shape today so that you can do a position check while you are at home. Okay. Let's just review a little bit. See if you remember your left hand shape. Hmm. Yes, you got it. It is a Coke can with a straw. Remember your thumb and middle finger are good friends and they always stay next to each other. So your thumb will always be behind your second finger no matter what. And your first finger is going to be way up there with a nice space between one and two. So it looks like a, like you're holding the Coke can. And then your first finger is the straw. Let's go ahead and take a sip with our straw. Mm -hmm. Delicious. You can have as much as you want while you're at home. <laughs> Maybe. If your parents say you can, I guess you can. I guess you still can't have as much soda as you want, even at home. All right. So here's your Coke can with our straw. Let's take it out here. And bring it on back, keeping your arm nice and steady. Exactly. I think we're ready for our base now. Go ahead and get your base. And be sure that your end pin is at the correct height. If you need any kind of review on instrument positioning, you can go back to the previous video uh, for that information. But your left hand will be, your left leg will be straight on the floor. Your, not your left leg. Okay, your right leg is on the floor. Your left leg is behind the base. Now gently touching the back of your base. Okay, let's go ahead and, oh, check your positioning. So make sure that your shoulder, your elbow, and your wrist all line up. You can't see it too well here, um, but it'll form a straight line. Again, look at the look at your previous video for that information, and then bring your back base distantly back behind you there. Okay. Find that coke can. Down behind the middle finger. Coke can and straw. Hold on to your base with your right hand, please. <laughs> and then we're gonna take our left hand and bring it straight out, sitting up straight and tall, no macaroni here. Come on back in, come back in. We're gonna line up right across those tapes. So go ahead and line up on your D string. So your first finger is on your red tape. Your second finger is right across from your thumb. And hopefully there's still a, a sticker on the back of your base where your second finger goes. But if not, just if you keep the hand shape, your thumb will go it goes right behind your second finger. Your fourth finger is on the blue tape, and the third finger will fall naturally in its right spot. Uh, so you have one, two, and four lined up correctly. So that's good. Let's go again. Make your coat can. Straight out and come back. So when you're practicing at home, periodically, take a second. Maybe look in a mirror or get somebody at home to check for you to make sure that your hand shape is correct. It should look just like this. You want to make sure that your elbow is not too high or too low. We don't want it down here. Don't want your thumb creeping around behind your base. Keep it all, everything just this way. You don't want to come up. Just when in doubt, make the coat can come back and just keep it all even and you'll be good to go. Way to go. See you next time. Bye.